So I am on a road tonight and I am not letting up. I got another wig to review for you guys. I showed you this wig a couple of days ago, maybe like a week or two ago. And it is from the brand Sensational, but it was sent to me by the company Sam's Beauty. You know, I love working with them like all the time. And they sent me over this little beauty here. Like I always pick out a couple of wigs and I kind of miss doing the big curly wigs. You guys know when I first started out, I did quite a few of them and you guys love them. So I had to bring it back. This one is from Sensational Textured Lace Wig. I guess they mean textured as in Afro. Um, the style is Showstopper. Um, the color is F1B30. Oh! So they say this is recommended for curly 3B, 3C. So if you're looking for a 3B, 3C texture, I guess they're rating it on like how you rate your natural hair. I'm pretty sure I'm kinky. I'm more on the 4C side. And like right here, this is like a 4A, 3C. It's like really curly right here. I'm going to open with the store, girl. Didn't mean to do that to you guys, but kind of excited. This is the F1B30, as I said before. So off the bat, I do like the fact that the lace is like a brown, I want to say it's like a medium brown. Be very complimentary to my skin tone, I believe. Again, this is a F1B30, so I am definitely getting um, 1B vibes for the majority of the hair. And then you have these 30 highlights. This color here is 30. Ironically, this is 32. Um, kind of short, curly. Kind of nervous, it's going to be a hella big. Um, it is pre-parted, so you get that nice parting down the center. Um, it looks like they have some hair that they actually purposefully, um, you know, sewn or wefted into the lace to go this way. But um, you have a big comb in the back. You have adjustable straps. Um, you have your pre-parting, which you can see is like a nice length of pre-parting. And then two combs in the front. But the wig circumference here just feels like it's going to fit real good and snug. Now, I tell you guys all the time, you must add elastic bands to your wigs. I just feel like elastic just helps to suck it to your head so it doesn't come off. Um, but you guys see physically the effort I have to use to put this wig on. If you got a big head, this ain't going to fit you. This ain't gonna fit you, but it looks like I like the fact that even though it's super big, it kind of feels like it's layered. It's not like this is here and it's just like this. Kind of looking like Sideshow Bob, the way it comes out like this a little bit, but it looks good at the same time. You probably can switch it to a side. Ooh, be careful when you twist your waist to the side because that big ass comb in the back will snatch up your braids and honey does that hurt so you can definitely do a side part as well i think i kind of like this more than the center so i'm gonna do it to the side like this or does that look crazy maybe this will look crazy i like the idea of the side part and the layers but maybe maybe that'll look crazy so first thing you gotta do it's cut off your lace. I'm kind of nervous about this lace because the wig fits so snug that it's easy when it fits tight to get carried away and accidentally cut off too much lace. I'm hoping you guys like this one. Let me know off the bat. What do you guys think of her? Let Comment below. Let me know how y'all feeling about this little lady right here. How y'all feeling about Showstopper? She's definitely... A showstopper, right? I honestly think it might look better just in the center, just because um, it's tight, it's big. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling like I should pull it apart a little bit, but at the same time, I'm nervous to pull it apart. You see, I just pulled it apart 
a little bit and you see the difference this is what it looks like natural and this is what it looks like lightly you know pulled apart so it doesn't look like those uniform wiggy curls um maybe i should add a little bit of baby hair so i just kind of be careful it's so easy to mess these wigs up because the lace is not the same as like virgin hair lace so i'm speeding it up for just a quick second and i'm just going to continue to do the pull method and kind of pull the hairs out. Now, again, when you're using a synthetic wig, I find that it's more common to like pull a hole. Even when you tweeze, it's just a little bit more tougher to get the hair out. So make sure you take your time and do the strands one by one if possible. Going back to my old faithful, got to be glued. Um, you guys know I've been using that Gorilla Snot, that, that one. You guys seen it in the last video that I did, um, or the last few videos rather. And that one um, doesn't have a hold. With synthetic hair, you have to have a little bit of a hold for it to actually form. Do not, do not do your baby hair when you have makeup on. I do it all the time just because I like to mass film. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that you guys get to see that grossness. But, you know, it is what it is. You just wipe it, repowder yourself, and, you know, you'll be good. So now I'm taking my Old Faithful L'Oreal Foundation Powder in the color. I believe it's N8 or C8. Whatever one it is, it's the darkest and it's cocoa. And I just apply that to the parting and a little bit in the baby hair to kind of make it blend with my skin best. Um, I find with the parting, it may not look that great um, when you first look at it. But when you add the powder, do not tweeze the parting because... That is as wide as you want your parting to be. You really don't want it to be any wider than that. Okay, so this is kind of one of those wigs that I feel like to add product, it's just going to be a mess um, to comb it out. It's not necessarily going to be a mess, but this is a synthetic wig, if I did not mention. So trying to detangle it is not really ideal. Um, beautiful. Very full. Very, very, very full. Okay, that's a piece of hair that came out. Um, I think this came from me tweezing it. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the back. For reference, I am 5'3". I know with these kind of ways, a lot of times I'll get questions. And then as far as like a lift, check it's actually pretty long i would guess it's about 20 inches it comes like to the small of my back like right um you know like right there color you guys can see like a color slash texture shot it's not too like dry and dull and matte but it's also not shiny definitely a yakky texture over a silky texture but it's not like crazy yakky um, I do find that it naturally just comes in my face um, and you know you kind of lose my face a little bit so I kind of feel like to kind of take and slick a little bit behind my ears it's also even cute if you want to add um, hair accessories because I did put it behind my ear I honestly think it looks really good um, I'm going to just take a one big rubber band and just like loop it around once just kind of for reference so you guys can see obviously I didn't style it I didn't brush or anything but you can definitely you know do some natural styles if you this definitely looks cute it kind of takes away from the layered look of it so I probably would not wear it but it definitely looks cute But I'm going to pass and I'm just going to wear it um, as is. Just kind of want to show you like three different ways to style this wig. So you have it in a ponytail, you have it with some hair accessories, and then you have it just straight down. Kind of also showed you guys in the beginning what it would have looked like as a side part. Even though it wasn't customized um, at that point, you still get the picture. But again, you have that tapered kind of um, cut that it has to it. Super cute. Definitely, definitely, definitely not for everyone, but definitely a beautiful wig. 
surprisingly even though it's a super full wig it's definitely a low maintenance one at the same time don't even know if that makes sense and the fact that it is a middle part already pre-parted with brown lace it makes it even easier to just add a little bit of powder in the parting and go you don't have to um you know customize it the parting is thick enough that um you don't need to pluck or tweeze anything and yeah i definitely rock with this one so make sure you check her out if you are interested. I will have her linked in the description bar. Try to go ahead and get me a quick little boomerang because I kind of like the way I'm looking like. I got so carried away with the selfies. I forgot to finish my outro, but thank you guys so much. It means so much to me that you guys watch my videos and you hang out to the end. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll get more from me. Hit that bell button so you'll get it right to your phone. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Uh. 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 Uh